Let's go, friends, to a place where time, space, and gravity all blur together. A place where the laws of physics break down. A place where you can glimpse the future and uncover the past. Very few truly understand this place, though humanity has tried for centuries. We're sending our spacecraft toward the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star, the one at the center of our galaxy. The distance is so vast that even light would take 20,000 years to reach it. But we'll use a shortcut, a wormhole, to reach near the black hole within seconds. Most black holes are born from the death of massive stars. When such a star explodes, it emits a light 10 billion times brighter than the sun, a supernova. Then gravity takes over and collapses the core, shrinking it down until not even light can escape its pull. That's why we can't see the core of a black hole. To see something, light must bounce off it and reach our eyes. But from inside a black hole, light never returns. If Earth were crushed down to the size of a pea, its gravity would become so intense that even it would turn into a black hole. That tiny pea would bend nearby light, just like a black hole does. Most black holes are 10 to 20 million times heavier than our sun. But deep within galaxies are supermassive black holes, millions or even billions of times heavier. Our spacecraft is now approaching such a supermassive black hole. The gravity of a supermassive black hole is so extreme, it can even swallow entire stars. Over millions of years, the one at our galaxy's center has devoured countless things. Its mass is now 46 million times greater than the sun. But something strange is happening as our spacecraft gets closer. It came through the wormhole on a straight path, but now it's starting to curve. Why? Because the space around it is changing, and when space changes, time changes too. A spinning black hole drags space itself around it. And as we move closer, it's like stepping into a real-life sci-fi film. Our spacecraft is now entering the realm of time travel. As it nears the black hole, it's encountering the most powerful force in nature, a force capable of twisting the very fabric of space. In our universe, gravity remains a mystery. Anything with mass can bend space-time, as Einstein's theory of relativity taught us. Before Einstein, scientists believed space was just a vacuum. But he proved it's more. Space itself is a physical component of the universe. In empty space, light travels in straight lines. But if something heavy, like the sun, appears, its gravity bends space, and thus bends light's path too. That's what's happening to our spacecraft. The black hole's immense gravity is bending space and bending time with it. From far away, the black hole looks like a giant spinning lens, distorting space and time. If we could observe our spacecraft from a distance, we'd see it slow down, as time itself slows near the black hole. Strange, but true. Time depends on location. If you spent a day on the top floor of Burj Khalifa, you'd age a few billionths of a second, more than someone on the ground floor. Why? Because Earth's gravity is stronger at the bottom, and stronger gravity slows time down. Earth bends space-time, and the Sun does too, thanks to its mass. But near a black hole, this curvature becomes so extreme, 
that space and time start to break down. At this point, the spacecraft could actually start moving backward in time. It reaches a rapidly spinning ring of light and matter. This is the accretion disk of the black hole. The black hole's gravity is trying to suck it all in. But something else, a force, is stopping it. Our spacecraft slowly joins this swirling mass and begins rotating with it. Everything in the universe spins due to angular momentum. As matter gets closer to the black hole, its speed increases, eventually reaching near light speed. This creates centrifugal force which keeps matter from falling in. Instead, it keeps spinning outside, forming a disk. Fast spinning black holes act like violent vortexes of space and time. Einstein's general relativity tells us that spinning objects twist the space around them. This is known as frame dragging. Inside this frame dragging zone, our spacecraft spirals so wildly that the sense of time completely collapses. What's past? What's future? It all becomes impossible to tell. Physicists believe 40% of the matter in the accretion disk never actually falls in. Our spacecraft now moves between the black hole's gravity and this centrifugal barrier, caught in a strange tug of war. Imagine a boat drifting toward a waterfall. At one point, the river suddenly drops, and nothing can escape. That point in a black hole is called the event horizon. Once crossed, not even light can return. Just seconds before our spacecraft reaches this edge, the gravitational pull becomes unimaginably strong. The force tears space itself, and our ship is pulled into what scientists call a singularity. Some believe this singularity is a tunnel through space-time, a gateway to the past or even another universe. But once the ship crosses that line, all communication is lost. We no longer know what happens inside. That lies beyond the limits of our science. We hope that someday we'll be able to solve this ultimate mystery. What did you think of today's Black Hole episode? Tell us in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and